Okay, the purpose of this video is to show you how to solve a system of equations using the elimination method. Now, it might be a good idea to backtrack a little bit and talk about what a system of equations is. A system of equations, real simply, is just two or more linear equations. And you want to solve it by a couple of different ways. You can do it graphically by substitution or by this elimination method. And solving it means you're trying to find out what answer, what x, y point on the graph will work for both equations. Now visually, what does that look like? Well, it's just the intersection. If I were to graph this, graph this, it's where the two lines intersect. That one point is on both lines, so it works for both lines. The problem is that if you do that, let me just go ahead and do this off to the side here. And let's just draw a line, and let's pretend that's another line. So there we have it. There we have where the intersection is. A lot of times, that one point won't be like an exact point. It'll be like somewhere inside the little box in between the dashes. So we won't have like an exact reading on that. Then you have to kind of almost eyeball it or guesstimate it. And that's not good enough. The elimination method and the substitution method, I, demonstrate, I will demonstrate in another video can give you the exact location of that point. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and use the elimination method. So here's my system. It's a real simple system of two equations with two variables each. <clears throat> and I'm noticing that things are not lined up. Okay, the y's are not under the y's, the x's are not under the x's. And that's the first thing that you need to do is to line everything up. I usually like to start my equations in what's called the standard form. The standard form is when the x and the y are on the same side of the equal sign. Okay. Now with this one, <coughs> with the second, equa second equation, if I moved this x over to this side, I would have 2x plus y is equal to 13. Now look what I've done by doing that. I just moved that 2x over to here. Now everything's lined up. My x's are lined up, my y's are lined up, and then my numbers are lined up. That's a pretty valuable thing to do, and let me show you why. Okay, now I'm going to eliminate one of the variables. That's the third step. So line things up first, first step. Now I want to eliminate a variable. Now how do I do that? I do it by adding or subtracting one equation from the other. Now how do I decide which one to add and which one to subtract? Well I have to have the same number of variables. For example here I got two x's and here I've got two x's. If I were to subtract those two I'd end up with zero x which is what I want to try to do. It would eliminate that x. Notice over here if I were to subtract those I would just get like 4y and that doesn't eliminate anything. So I want to get the I want to get them into the point where I can either add or subtract the variables. In this case, like I said, I'm going to subtract this one from this one. This one rather from this one. That minus that eliminates the x. Okay? That minus that gives me 4y. That minus that gives me 28. So look what I've done there. I'm able to eliminate one of the variables and now I can solve for the missing variable, in this case the y. y is equal to 28 over 4 which is equal to 7. Okay, again let me briefly go through that. Line everything up, decide whether you want to add or subtract the equations. Subtract in this case would work, so I'm going to subtract it and thereby eliminate one of the variables, in this case the x. So now I've got y is equal to 7. In this third step, what I'm going to do is, is substitute. 7 can go into either one of these two equations, because again, it's a point that's common for both equations. I'm going to substitute 7 into either one of these two equations wherever I see y, and then solve for the x. Let's put it here, since it seems to be the easiest. y is equal to negative 2x plus 13. Let's put it there. I'm going to get 7 is equal to negative 2x 
plus 13. Let's subtract 13 from both sides. I get negative 6 is equal to a negative 2x. Let's divide by a negative 2. I get negative 6 over negative 2 is x, or x is equal to a positive 3. And there is my answer. According to this solution, the x value is 3, the y value is 7. What that says is these two lines will intersect at the point 3, 7, and it's going to be the solution to this system. I'll put some more of these on with other variations so that you can get an idea of how the elimination method is a useful tool. Okay, good luck with you on the homework.